Yo guys, what's going on? It's Brian and Jim with Drink a Beer and Play a Game, and today, oh boy, am I excited. We're going to be reviewing Mortal Kombat 9, which brought all the glorious gore and violence to the series that revolutionized the fighting game genre and video game violence in general. Released in 2011 on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, this game was developed by NetherRealm Studios. Who are they? They're basically an offshoot of Midway when Midway went bankrupt. And a lot of the principal creators of Mortal Kombat joined together to make a new game studio. This was published by Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment. Now, the game also wound up getting a PlayStation Vita port. And it also came out on Steam and on Windows computers as well. Hey, Jim, why didn't it come out on the Wii? Ha! Uh, Bri, they were probably too busy developing the Wii U. More like... We sucks. <laughs> God damn, that was good. All right, moving on. You're going to hear the following saying many times. This game brought Mortal Kombat back from almost like obscurity and a whole new style. Coming back to the 2D realm, they have super detailed sprites. Damage that is just way... Um, Bry, it's actually 2.5D because it's 3D models fighting on a 2D plane. Ow! Shut up, nerd! Anyway, fine, 2.5D. My point is, this game looks fucking awesome. Not only do you have a ton of damage and the sprites look great and they have different costumes and... And it runs at 60 frames per second. Ah, what? It's a good thing! But... They introduce the X-Ray move, and I'm not going to jump too much into that because we'll talk about that gameplay. We friggin' love the way this game looks. Each stage has its own real character, different lighting, color palettes. There's nothing to complain about. I gave it a 10. Mr. Bitchy Mc McBitching Pants gave it a 9. My face hurts! Yeah, it should, bitch. I'm not even going to add a beer because Jim's a bitch. All right, the sound. Oh, wait. Let me guess, you're going to hate on this game because it doesn't have memorable music. Um, actually, Bri, it has, some stages have arranged versions of the original music, which was quite memorable. So, if anything, I can say that the music's actually pretty good in the game, when it isn't just background noise. Ha! You would say that. Outside of that, in the story mode, the voice acting for the characters is actually really well done, and it really brings you into the game experience itself. Besides that, the normal sound effects are great. Everything's gory and squishy and just... It just sounds as brutal as it looks, which is good. Now, maybe some of the levels could have sounded a little better. Maybe there could have been some more voice work during the actual fights itself. You know, it's not a complete package, but it's still a really good one, and we both gave it eights. As far as beers go, I'll give it... I'll give it, I'll say, one beer. Just to piss Brian off. Hey, remember what I said about graphics? How coming back to a 2D or 2.5D plane... Thank you. Ugh, ...made everything so much better. Well, the controls got a hell of a lot simpler, and you could pull off combos. It just felt a lot easier. Jim, he's not the biggest fan of the Xbox controller for fighting games, but for it's me... Terrible! For me, I got no problem. Then again, I don't bitch about it. PlayStation controller's him. better for it. Buy an arcade stick. I'm not going to argue the PlayStation controller is better, but also I'm just not a little bitch. So anyway, the control. Yeah, remember all the old classic Mortal Kombat's? Well, this brings you right back, except you have the extra buttons. Not only do you have your block button, which is awesome, you have your grab button, and when you have to pull off your super special x-ray move, all you have to do is hit the back bumpers. We love that. Keeps the game simple, much more fast-paced, Without being seizure-inducing, combo-laced, eh, I don't like that shit. I loved it. Jim, surprise, surprise, didn't like it quite as much. So, I gave it a 10. Jim gave it a 9. I'm only going to add one beer because Jim just hates because he always gets his ass whooped. The gameplay. All right. People like to say that I like to nitpick things or I'm just never happy. Wah, wah, wah. I have really nothing to say against this game. The combat system's really good. It's really overhauled. The presentation's great. There's a ton of different gameplay options, which we'll get to in a bit. Um, the online mode is great, even though, I mean, at launch it wasn't the best server-wise, but they fixed it, kind of. It's just a great game overall. It's extremely fun. It's got a bunch of different play styles for different characters. Jim, talk about the fatalities! Yes, the fatalities. 
They brought back having two fatalities per character. You have all the different stage fatalities. There's just a lot of ways that you can finish a person off in this game. And it's awesome! Not only that, the crypt is back. And the game also added a lot of extra things to do. We'll get into that in a little bit. Overall, we both gave it 10s. Not really anything either of us can bitch about this game. And as far as beer goes, I want to give it one beer. But it's a happy beer, because this game makes us happy. Yay! Who doggy originality. Well... It's not so original that I brought it back to a 2D plane, 2.5D, whatever the fuck you want to call it. But, when they included the meter, which allows you to do super versions of your already special moves, the x-ray moves like we mentioned, the challenge tower, which Jim will probably talk about more in replayability, so I don't want to go into much, all the different modes they added in the in the Xbox Live version, there are a lot of things here that we really enjoyed. It was tough coming up with the score, but me and Jim feel this deserves an 8. It's almost like going retro before a lot of games decided to go as retro as they did, and they improved upon everything. So, like Jim, I'm going to add one beer, but this is just in celebration of this awesome game. Oh, good God, replayability. Where do I even begin? At the beginning! God, I hate him. Like most Mortal Kombat games, damn near all of them, there's a standard arcade mode. There's also a very fleshed out story mode, which will take a long, a decent amount of time to actually get through. Probably at least five hours, depending on how often you have to replay fights. And goddamn Shell Khan's a pain in the ass. Both times. And the story's awesome! The story is pretty damn awesome. Also, the crypt is back. And holy crap, is there a lot of stuff to unlock in here. The point system that was introduced in Deadly Alliance returns once again. So, you build up points, you put it towards the crypt, you unlock, you unlock, you unlock. Jim, why don't you tell him about, as you were exploring the crypt, the little thing that jumped down and scared you and made you poop your pants! Oh my god, I was exploring the crypt and this thing popped out and it made me poop my pants! <laughs> also, they included the challenge tower. 300 different challenges for you to go through. These include different fight conditions, different wind conditions, and even brings back the good old test your might but also has things like test your sight. There's so much here. You can fight zombies. Uh, yes, you can fight zombies. Thank you, Brian. Besides all that, you have training modes. You have a separate fatality training mode, which is so welcome in this series. Besides that, you have the online play, which you have standard matchmaking. You have this really cool, almost king of the mountain kind of mode where there's a bunch of players viewing it and in the queue, and when one player loses, another one hops in. It's awesome. There's so many unlockables. There's so many different moves you can unlock. There's so many different skins you can unlock. There's, unfortunately, all the downloadable content, which you have to pay for if you want to have every single character. Freaking game industry. Damn it! But there's just a ton of game here, and it's just hours upon hours upon hours upon weeks upon days of entertainment you can get from this. It's four years later, and there's still stuff that you can keep coming back to with this game. I wish we could give it more than tens. There is just so much here. Beer-wise, you don't need any beers. At all. In fact, beers are going to make you sleepy. And with all the content in here, you don't have time to sleep. So overall, I think it's pretty clear. We friggin' hate this game. So annoying. See what I did there, Jim? I said we hate the game, but really, we love it! Can we play Mythologies? Damn it! But yeah, we love this game. It brought Mortal Kombat back to everything we loved about the series and added some new features that we hadn't seen before. Is the game perfect? Could they have done a little more? Sure, but there really is no such thing as a perfect game. But as you see from our scores, we gave it the perfect score. We both gave it a 10 because of all the fighting games we have. We will gladly pop this one in and love to watch x-ray move after x-ray move, fatalities. It, it's, it's just awesome. There's nothing to hate about this game. And when you see our overall combined score, it rounds out to a 9.2. That's pretty goddamn high. This may or may not be one of the best, if not the best, Mortal Kombat game out there. That yeah, will get discussed at a later time. So when choosing a beer to pair with such an excellent game, we're obviously going to choose an excellent beer. And since we're not suggesting more than four beers for this game, we're going to go with the Elysian Dragon's Tooth Stout. Now this is a 7.5% oatmeal stout, that tastes like most other Imperial Stouts. It's got a nice, rich, chocolatey, coffee kind of flavor. But I don't know, there's something about this one that just does it right. And it's personally one of my favorite Imperial Stouts. 
And I'm not gonna lie, the artwork with the dragon on the front, that helped connect it to Mortal Kombat. As always guys, thanks for checking out another Mortal Kombat review. Make sure you keep coming back, because we only got one more review to go, and we're gonna leave you with one more top 10. Till next time guys, cheers.